Ah, uh, yes, the familiar markings of a top 40 hit, an infectious beat, a little genre mix and matching, and of course, a catchy chorus. Cheap Thrills from Sia was one of the most popular songs last summer, but what made it such an earworm? Was there a tried and true science behind the track that propelled it up the charts? Well, yes. Every hit song actually starts out the same way, by sampling the song Rich Girl by Hall & Oates. You're a rich girl and you're gone too far cause you know it don't matter anyway. Every producer is different, but most start by isolating one of the two dozen or so individual tracks that comprise Rich Girl. Like Quincy Jones did when he took John Oates' opening guitar riff and slowed it down 450% to create the infamous electric strum you hear at the top of Michael Jackson's Beat It. Now, sampling Rich Girl doesn't always yield results. For instance, in 2003, Metallica added too much reverb and distortion to Hall & Oates' iconic melody and ended up with the song Temptation, which got left off the Saint Anger album due to its directionless plotting and brain-numbing sound. But other times, it's proved transcendent. I mean, who would have guessed some quirky DJ with a weird haircut would take John Hall's infamous lyrics, money won't get you too far, get you too far, and literally splice and warp it to pieces to kickstart the reign of electronic dance music. The creative possibilities with this song are truly endless. But maybe the most creative use of Rich Girl came 37 years after it was written, when Katy Perry decided to sample the song by simply recording it, vocals and all, backwards to create her smash hit, Roar. Rich girl, rich girl. Not bad. For The Onion, I'm Sean Ditko.